There's no doubt that Hypixel Skyblock is a game that's centered around its economy. Items and coins are exchanged hundreds if not thousands of times per minute. It's more often than not nowadays that you try and buy an item off the auction house only to get an error message that says that in the brief time it took you to open the GUI and click on the item, that someone else had already bought it. The Skyblock videos here on YouTube they get the most views are usually money making methods. For good reason. Everyone wants coins. They can be used to basically skip the entire game's progression or at least afford you gear that allows you to progress faster in the aspects that you have to grind yourself like slayers or dungeons. There's a reason why lots of players have used dupe glitches, install macros, or buy coins from other players for IRL money. They are willing to risk it all just to progress a little faster. It's pathetic, but <laughs> understandable, I guess. What do you want? Whenever I make a best money making methods video, there's always a few people in the comments pointing out that I missed the number one method, in their opinion, flipping. For good reason, I've never mentioned it in a video up until today. Almost every Skyblock video I've seen on YouTube about flipping is not helpful at all and usually loses money because the method only lasts for a few minutes after the video goes up. Dozens of these wannabe money making method videos are from YouTubers with a few thousand subscribers trying to gain relevance without doing the work of finding a method that would last long enough for their viewers to use. Today, I plan to break the mold and make a guide on every current way to make money from flipping. So to start, what exactly is flipping? For the purposes of this video, I would define flipping as taking advantage of the discrepancy in price that results from timing the market. Flips usually take advantage of the impatience or laziness of other people, and as a flipper, it's your job to take advantage of that. It's difficult to make videos on flipping because there's just so many different types of them, and a specific method might only last for a few minutes. Almost every item in the game could be part of a flip method, depending on the demands of the market and the timing. So. To make sure this video is still relevant a year from now, I'm going to describe the different types of flips rather than talking about a specific item. So today, we're going to be talking about auction flips, and in the next tutorial video, I'll be talking about bizarre flips. Once that video is uploaded, I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner. Real quick, before we get into that, if you want to see more Skyblock tutorials from me, please click that subscribe button. It's free and you could always unsubscribe later. Anyways, let's get right into it. So the first type of flip that I'm going to show off, I'm going to call the traditional auction to buy it now flip. By far the simplest flip, quite literally you buy low and sell high. With the introduction of the bin last year, most players don't even bother buying items in a traditional auction anymore. Like I said, Skyblock players are lazy and prefer to just get the item they want right now instead of fighting other players over it uh, over the course of a few minutes or even hours depending on the item. If you want to make money this way, find an item that has a high margin, which means there is a big difference in the cost for you to buy an item versus the price you sell for. So for example, we're going to do a traditional auction and we'll look up any item in the game. Let's say, I don't know, aspect of the end. So if we go to, for example, ending soon right here with the auctions only, you'll see, wait, 300,000. Oh, people are dumb. But a more realistic example, let's say this one, 123,000 coin bid on an aspect of the end ending in five minutes. So this is pretty low. It's much lower than if you were to, for example, do bin only and then select the lowest bin. So there's a discrepancy of about 50,000 coins between the lowest auction and the lowest bin. So the traditional auction to bin flip could be winning a traditional auction for an aspect of the end that, for example, let's say I bid on this aspect of the end. I'm not going to do it because I'm YouTube ranked. So it's unfortunate, but a lot of these methods I personally can't use because I have a name people recognize. So they'll try and outbid me. But you could bid on this and get, for example, 150K. You know, it's not going to be that much of a, a flip. You know, you only make about 20,000 coins, but you know, it's a method that people use. But anyways, you buy, let's say you win the auction and then you sell it back as a buy it now now of course there's items with better margins than an aspect of the end you have to search around there's a lot of items in the auction house there's cake souls there's pets are a big one actually if you were to look up for example yeti pets these are fairly common search by legendary only lowest price 18 mil for the lowest bin and then the lowest auction right now 
is 16.4 at the moment, but obviously it'll get a bit higher than that because it's almost level 100 with a dwarf turtle shaman. Anyway, uh, this can work for almost any item in the game. When flipping, make sure to consider items in high demand for a quicker turnaround. Otherwise, you might not sell it. I know another big one is to do some enchantment books. I believe there's websites as well. High auctions will show you which items are most frequently bought and sold. This one, you know, it's going to take work. The whole idea behind flipping is not being lazy when other people are being lazy. So you're going to have to do the legwork to figure out what people are buying and then try and find a traditional auction to win that you could then put back up as a bin and make some profit on. The next one I'd like to call bin to bin. So... Uh, yeah, sometimes the player would want to sell an item right now to get coins and that can sometimes result in an auction being listed for much, much less than it's actually worth. Typically, this happens when someone tries to undercut the lowest bin with an item that has hot potato books, fumings, recoms, enchantments. Uh, if you see this, you can take the risk of buying the item and putting it back on the auction house as a buy it now for a higher price. Be careful, though, because the value of an upgraded item typically is less than the price of the item plus the upgrades because opportunity cost uh, for example good luck selling a recon livid dagger for 14 mil it's just not going to happen unless you get a stupid buyer so if we were to look up livid dagger and we're set to no filter for rarity bins and then we have lowest bin right now is seven mil i mean i could sort by mythic so the lowest livid dagger that's recommed and it has withered on it is 15.9 this could be a good strategy if you just want to have a nice fully upgraded weapon, but I don't think it's worth, I, I don't know if that's a good buy. Withered in its own is like, what, two mil, recoms five mil, so that's seven mil, 14. You're still paying two extra million coins for stars, I guess. But at that point, you might as well just put the upgrades on yourself. You're not getting much of a, a deal here. Yeah, I don't know. If it had one for all on it, maybe it'd be worth, but none of these do. Anyways, that's the bin to bin flip. I, it's unfortunate that I can't demonstrate any of these because again, I'm YouTube -ing. People are just gonna yoink whatever bid bids I do unless they're bin. So yeah, that, that's why I personally love buy it now is just because it allows me to play the game at all. Here's a weird one that I actually didn't know about until I asked a friend on Discord. Buying in bulk. If you pay attention to some auction listings, you might notice that they were literally just made. So like, for example, this guy, right? Five hours and 58 minutes. That means this guy just made the auction a minute ago, the milk man. So if I were, if I were to slash AH, you can see he's selling multiple items. He put them up at about a similar time. Now, this was a bad example, but some people, what they'll do is they put an auction up, but they put a whole bunch at the same time. And what you could do is typically if people are selling like let's say two rows worth of items in their auction house that means they're probably not paying too much attention to the price of each item so you might be able to get a pretty good deal on some of them so let's see if i can find one here yeah see this player they are selling two blue jerry talismans as well as two kismet feathers they put them all up at around the same time except for this one are these oh yeah they put these up at the same time too it doesn't show minutes when it's that far in the future now is 3.8 mil a good deal for jerry talismans i don't know but anyways what you do is you look around you might be able to find someone with two rows worth of stuff buy everything they have if they are you know if their prices are reasonable you could actually get a pretty good price on some of the items in some cases you could also just party them and ask if they have more stuff to sell because typically when they do this they're trying to afford some item that they've been wanting for a while for example a weapon maybe some armor and you can undercut them <laughs> the convenience of not having to sell everything one by one on the auction house you just get a lump sum from all the things that they sell you and then you undercut them a little bit for some extra profit and everybody wins they get to sell this stuff quick and buy the item they want you get to uh, get some quick money and avoid the auction house taxes but yeah most of these uh instances you could do bin to bin flips again just find an item that's reasonably priced kismet feathers are actually fairly expensive right now specifically yeah like another one is heat cores this is technically not a flip but you know if you're looking for you know a way to make some quick money booster cookies collect bits buy bit items sell them on the auction house right now heat cores are a great thing to do probably the best value out of bits right now would be those 
Uh, but yeah, it's pretty nice. The next one's probably one of the more popular ones, and that is upgrade flips. Another scenario where players are lazy is when picking a weapon or armor piece to buy. Sometimes they just want to skip the process of enchanting it or adding hot potato books or whatever. So they will go up the list. Like, for example, Livid Dagger, again, this is a popular weapon. Instead of, for example, buying just a clean one and adding a bunch of stuff to it, they might go a few pages down and see if they can get it pre-starred with some hot potato books, enchantments, whatever. What you can do to give it the illusion of value is add really cheap enchantments, for example you can add the 20 hot potato books. You can reforge it to, I guess in the livid daggers case to either spicy or sharp. Sharp's a good one. Well, actually, I don't know if sharp matters for a livid dagger because of the crit chance. You might want spicy actually, but I uh, just pre reforging it, pre hot potato booking it, add some basic enchantments, and then you might be able to put it back up in the auction house for more than the price of the livid dagger plus the upgrades you apply to it if that makes sense so you can make a little bit of extra money by upgrading the item first and putting it up you could also do it with aspects of the ends with you know ultimate wise possibly if you can get a good price for ultimate wise chances are that's not going to happen but just an idea you know the markets are weird uh, be careful not to add too many expensive upgrades to the item or the price might end up being too high for you and you're not going to be able to get that value back out of it by selling it because you might not be able to find buyers and would be forced to bin it for less than you put onto it which would be wasting money for the final method item crafting flips these are the ones that you get those wannabe youtubers like oh my god best money making method in the game yeah another example of players being lazy is they want to buy an item outright instead of just crafting it uh some people might have the reasons but not or maybe just not having a recipe unlocked or they don't know the recipe but most are just too lazy so you can take advantage of this by buying the materials to craft an item and then craft the item and then sell it and there'll usually be a discrepancy in the price for example people like to buy for some reason spirit scepter right now the lowest bins for spirit wings are 2.2 and 2.3 mil so this is what 6.7 mil for three of these and it's like 200k for what is it six enchanted lapis blocks if you were to then look up spirit scepter you can make a decent like 700 or 500k profit just all you would do is buy the spirit wings and then you would craft the yeah i might as well do this one interesting anyways just for the example in the video i'm gonna buy the six lapis blocks so anyways you might notice right 2.2, 2.2, 2.3, 300k. So that is, again, 6.7, 7 million craft spirit scepter. And then this one lowest min is going for about 749. Now I could take a risk and actually make mine a little bit pricier and tie it with these two and hope that this one sells first. The more aggressive play would be to undercut this one, but I think for the sake of this, I would like to make a little bit more money. So I'm gonna put it for seven, million six hundred and ninety eight thousand coins oh and you have to take into account there is a fee doing this there you go so the bin has started now again the aggressive play would have been to undercut this guy and then let's say this sells it might take a little while but if it sells then i made a solid 600k profit i would say item crafting flips are probably my favorite out of all of these methods it's the one that seems to be the easiest and it's the one that you know is the most clickbaited about in flipping videos so there you go funny thing is if the progression of videos goes as normal i would say only about 30 percent of people are still watching at this point so all the good flips are reserved for the people that actually watch this far in the tutorial so there you go this is your reward for watching this far but anyway another thing you could do this way is making semi-god books typically crafting enchanted books or combining them is much cheaper than just you know buying a pre-enchanted item from the ah or buying a god book like you can craft for example if i were to look up sharpness you'll see a lot of these sharp let me go to consumables you have these people selling these like semi-god books if i can find it there you go like one of these you can make a lot of money crafting these it does not cost 700k to craft these with the materials yourself and now it costs zero levels to combine books in an anvil so this could be a massive flip as well just making these god books would highly recommend it's a it's a good it's a good crafting flip as well 
Uh, but you know, these things change over time. As with any of the methods in this video, it could change. It's not going to be consistent. It's not always going to be like, I'm not usually, you know, spirit scepters. This flip might not exist by the time this video comes out, but you can do it with another item. You could do, I don't know, flower of truth, which is made with what? Nine ancient roses or whatever they're called. This is three mil. And if I look up ancient rose, yeah, you'd make like 300 K flipping that. See, it's not, <laughs> these flips are always going to exist. Even the ones I just mentioned, they might get ruined for a few days, but they'll come back. But anything, any item that is crafted with other stuff you can buy on the AH or from Bazaar, craft and put it back in the AH, you will make a decent amount of profit. Now you just got to figure out which items have the best margins before you do this, obviously. But uh, yeah, there you go. That's the crafting flip. So there you have it you've just learned how to make money off of other people's laziness this is actually a skill that you can use in the real world too obviously the specifics are very different but the core concepts the same <laughs> have you ever heard of drop shipping there you go people are too lazy and scared to buy goods directly from china so irl flippers i'd like to call them will buy these items wholesale and then uh put their logo on it and sell it in an american web store for a huge markup and that's really all it is anyways if you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like and uh comment down below did i miss any uh specific types of method now again this tutorial is not like a way to oh flower of truth is best profit no it's it's showing off the different types of flips and how they work and how to take advantage of it well uh, anyways i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys later